The city of Binduk has approved various agreements in which developers owe roughly $300 million. As part of the agreement, as soon as the land is approved, the developers are required to pay 10% of the land valuation to the municipality. At its council meeting, councillors unanimously instructed the city chief executive officer Robert Kahimithe to submit all agreements for all those who have not honored their commitments. Kahimithe indicated to the councillors that all agreements in the bracket will be submitted soonest. The city also reviewed outdated criteria for the lease of land after it was discovered that a certain lessee only pays as low as $500 a month for land. RPP councillor Brunial de Cornelius warned that the city is quick to cancel land deals involving the poor, while those of the wealthy are left for years without any cancellations. I move and I propose that we defer these three items that we, are, we want to cancel. I don't know if it's a witch hunt or what is going on. Let's bring them all in one. All of them, the Shamashi, Kwibikwas, the Lish Matthews, you name it, all of them, let's bring it. Meanwhile, Nodo Councillor Joseph Kawandenge also reiterated the slow response of city officials in providing information to council. The problem that I personally have is that when we come to council and we say, let's refer this thing back, let's workshop it, and let's implement it. Our officials are taking forever to bring those items back to this council for us to effect change. Now, after five years, we have to go back to the voters and campaign and say, what did we do in council? And mind you, it's all about to come to an end now. It's only two years left. In addition, Swapo Councillor Paulus Emmanuel also called for a review of all policies which are not in tandem with modern needs, specifically on leasing of land. If it's a policy matter, let's do look into this policy. And looking into it, I think it will give us a, big, a bigger picture and a bigger understanding of what exactly is it. And these people have been there for almost, I think, for more than 25 years now. And they are paying just these peanuts. They are not actually contributing to anything. They have been there for so long. And they, maybe the, one of the reasons why they don't want to look for any other place is because they know what they are offering to cities peanuts and then let's stick to this one. Kaipa Kanji, NBC News, Vinduk.